Hi, this is Felicia Bentonet Padilla of FMB Communications, and you're listening to the latest single from Samus James W. Dow, the new voice of the WGII from his upcoming Song of Songs CD. Be sure and join Thomas Dow for his Wooing of the Bride series beginning on Monday, February 24th at 12 noon on startmeeting.com as he continues to help us reflect on our spiritual journey with Christ, the Heavenly Bridegroom, and His Church, the Bride of Christ. This exposition on the Song of Solomon, presented in Ministry and Song, is hosted by Miss Martha, the Gospel Diva. Questions and comments can be sent via email to teamdow2014 at gmail.com or posted on Facebook at FMB Communications. We look forward to hearing from you. Hello, I'm Fred Jones Jr., lead guitarist for the Jones Family Singers. I hope you're enjoying the best and great gospel music right here with your number one radio angel. God bless you. Welcome to the official Worldwide Ride on the Podcast with Spreaker.com backslash user backslash the gospel 411. We're about to get it in right here. Uh, all the drops are coming in uh, brand new. That was Grace Justified. Also by Arthur Rowland. Also by the Jones Family Singers. And then we want to give it up for you around the world. Uh, make sure you start getting your uh drops in also i just want to thank god for this next um opportunity to get it in for the martha show uh right there james elcock gant going by the name as c bello uh the new artist and the interview today with all of my indie writers helping me get the game corrected around the world welcome to the official worldwide ride uh Las Vegas, Los Angeles, Detroit, Chicago, Ohio, Canada, Florida, Iraq, Kuwait, Iran, CPT, you're on the ride, baby. Happy, happy Tuesday, everybody. Amen. Hey, this is your boy, Art Roland, Grammy Award winning gospel artist from Atlanta, Georgia. And you're on the ride with my sister, my girl, the Martha Ward Show. Don't forget to check us out on XOD Network. The PG Network and Soulspiration. Yeah, you ain't ready yet. Speaker Radio, get ready. W G I I. Miss Martha Ward, y'all. Keep your head up to the sky. The gospel. W-G-I-I Where the Indies are getting it in Keep your head up to the sky Get it in
so perfect. I never seen somebody so worth it. I still get butterflies when he speaks, I get nervous. And everywhere that I go, I let the people know there's nobody like you. No, there ain't nobody. Nobody, 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 nobody,
we be come on somebody where would we be come on somebody we getting ready pumped up to bring in the interview with james l cargant c bello the new artist getting ready for june the 30th at the dollar hide center welcome to the official ride where the indies will take flight and help him out on this extravagant interview with the wgii radio ride your girl miss martha and c bello uh, in yc what you gonna do now what you gonna do Let's go. 
And as I pondered and thought, my mind kind of clicked on. I thought to give you a call, so glad I did. Talking with you makes me feel better. I feel better when I talk to you, Lord. I, I feel better. feel better once I've talked with you, Lord.
I want you guys to hear what I've heard. I want to say to God, be the glory for the things he keeps on doing as we get this together in order uh, with uh, James C. Bello. I found out that Sabello means gift from God. And then the gift from God uh, is eternal because uh, superstars are uh, in the gospel of Christ to help ye one another uh, showing love through art, work, and participation. I want to say to all of you, out there in Radio uh, Land, this is an honor and a privilege uh, to carry this one right here because this is uh, over 30 years. Also, uh, what else will be going on in the Compton, California area will be the alumni for Class 77, 1977. And then this makes it really exciting for me because I didn't, I didn't, I didn't go there in 1977, but I ended up there on my last year uh, 1978 uh, uh, right next to Mr. C. Bello James Gant. So we're looking forward to all of you getting out there to have some fun, reunite, uh, have a reunion, a family reunion. I think I'll play that as well. But I want you guys to know that God is super succeeding every one of our expectations and I'm expecting the great. Now let's get this interview in with Sabello, the gift from God on the official worldwide ride right here on the fantastical podcast spreaker oh god.com backslash user backslash to god i spell four one one let's get it in everybody let's take a little listen uh with sabalo on the official ride amen good afternoon and good evening uh what's cracking around the world las vegas los angeles detroit chicago Ohio, Canada, Florida, Iraq, Kuwait, Iran, CPT, uh, you're on the ride. I want to just give you guys a synopsis of Mr. James L. Cock Gant on the official start meeting ride, getting ready for that big old extravagant uh, place in Compton, the Dollar Hyde Center. Uh, the artist's name is C. Bello, all the way from the NYC. What's cracking, James Gant? How you doing, my sister? <laughs> I'm doing just wonderful. Uh, 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 what's going on with you? Well, I was just uh, thinking about, you know, all the things that God has brought me through and where I'm at right now. And I've been working all day on my paintings, and I was just, you know, embracing that moment. And, and then uh, I just started talking to God about what's my next move. And I, and, and when I talk to him, I need I have to listen. Lots Amen. of times he's talking to us, and we're really not listening. Amen. You can't you can't talk at God. You got to listen to God talk at you. Amen. <laughs> ah! Yeah. And I know that's hard for you to do, ain't it? It is, because you know I'm always wanting to be in control of everything around me, and except. I've learned to allow God to have the controlling aspect of our relationship. Mm -hmm. So, and that relationship, and then when you have a relationship with him, then it, the, the necessary uh, energy to want to control something outside of you doesn't exist anymore. Oh, wow. I love it. I mean, uh, how long did it take you that? Why it took a lot of bumps and bruises and car wrecks and plane wrecks and operations and drug addiction and <laughs> being in the world. <laughs> it, it takes a lot, don't it? It takes a lot. It takes a lot. But what happens is he, from the day we're born, he's already there. Amen. It's just about us cultivating a relationship with him. He's waiting on us. We're not waiting on him. Yeah. Oh, so, so he found you. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> that's what you call favor. <laughs> that's what you call favor. When, yeah, when, just, when people I talk about. Learned, yeah, I just learned that the other day, that he found us. We didn't find him. He wasn't ever lost. Okay. <laughs> so it's about, it's, it, it's about God's favor. And uh, he's always had favored my life even when I was doing the wrong thing. Mm -hmm. 
Yes. Because God knows that, you know, we're not perfect. Mm. Lots of times we think we are perfect and we have to toil with perfection. Yes. Because at, at the, the only thing we're perfect in is when we're in, in tune and in relationship with Christ. That's where perfection sits in. Mm. Everything else is an illusion based mm-hmm. on mass confusion. <laughs> <laughs> And we was confused. I know. I, I, I'm telling you. I'm Amen. telling you. But, but it's amazing how I, I was speaking to somebody the other day, and they would just say, oh, you're so creative. You're so talented. And and I, I am. And I realized that most of my relationships that I have cultivated throughout the years were based on those gifts and talents. And so... Uh, in 2011, you know, I I, I was working on a uh, on a, a Jesse Jackson push conference, mm-hmm. and uh, Alila Hathaway was going to be performing that night, and I was a uh, stage manager, and I was running around, and I tripped over some cords, and I fell off the stage backwards, and I was rushed to the hospital, and I woke up paralyzed, and doctor said I would never walk again, and so I had to. My life started then. Mm. Because, because like it started then because when you are knocked down and when you are left standing all alone that's when God shows up Amen. and all that other stuff all that other stuff around you doesn't have no clarity the only thing that has clarity is your healing and your relationship with him so sometimes God has to knock us completely down to get our attention, and he got my attention. Because let me tell you something, a wheelchair and just a, a daily thought of maybe not ever walking again will humble you. Amen. And it takes you to a place where you have to, you have to go within. Amen. And you have, to, you, you have to talk to your Lord, and you have to know that when you ask him for something, it's not going to come. At your time, it comes in his time because he is preparing you for greatness. So he's the only one to get to determine how long your suffering may be. Amen. So, uh, and I tell you, um, it, that situation changed my life completely. Um, it, it, it instilled a better man in me. Uh, all the other stuff outside of me does not really um uh is, is that of an important material thing i'm not that important because i when i was in the world i wanted to have everything that had a designer's name on it and i wanted to be at the finest restaurant and i wanted to be with the i wanted to be with the who was doing the most like you're doing right now let me get you straight player I'm the interviewer over here. Oh, okay. <laughs> okay. You let me well, ask the question. Well, catch up now. Catch up now. <laughs> <laughs> catch up now. <laughs> well, this is what makes this is what makes uh, my uh, our platform uh, for the any artist so fantastic because I do let everybody have their way. So. I was just set to get the laugh out you, you know, because you still pushy uh, mm-hmm. with your friends, and I'm glad we was friends for this long. I, I didn't, I, I lost you for a couple years, but we've been friends a long time, Mister Gant. Ooh, I remember you when you was in the world, but we ain't gonna talk about that. <laughs> yeah, you better talk about it. You brought it up. Cause I know you've been, I know you've been renewed and transformed, and ain't no sense in going all the way back in your closet. Just stay in the front. Just stay in the front. <laughs> won't he do it? Well, he won't. He will. He will do it. He okay. Does it every time. But so <laughs> when you was telling your story, you know, I've been telling it as well for you about you learn how to draw and paint while you were on your back. Tell us about that. Well, you know, you know, I'm creative, you know, and, and I'm I, a lot of people have gifts. A lot of people have gifts and creativity. And I have creativity, which 
it, I, I always have to be engaged in something using it. And right. so when you're in a hospital and you don't know if you're going to ever walk again, if you don't find after you pray and meditate and talk to the Lord, then you got to find a way to keep your attention off that thing that you prayed for. Mm. And so I, I, that's what I, I, I got me a, a pencil and paper and I just started sketching and then I started sketching the nurses and the doctors and they were trying to figure out who was who and, and it just kept my mind off of the pain, it kept my mind off of the the current situation I was in. Mm. And so I realized um, art through pain, right? Even sometimes because sometimes my spine does give me some issues and I may be in pain, but as soon as I pick up that paintbrush and I begin to start painting and working, I don't feel the pain. And I realized it's because that is when, you know how some people say they get the Holy Ghost or they're speaking in tongues or they are in, in communion with God. Mine is when he is allowing me to use my hands and there's nothing in between my paintbrush and him. Amen. And so he allows these things to come out of me. And when you look at my work, it's so vast. You know, a lot of artists, when you look at their work, you say, oh, that's Picasso by the by the character of the work, but I'm just like all over the place because I have no full control over what is coming out of me. Mm. But when it's when I'm completed and I and because in the moment I'm not thinking about what I'm what I'm doing, I'm just doing it. Mm-hmm. And lots of times I'm up like sometimes I if I'm engaged in some I may be like twelve, thirteen hours in something. But when it's completed and I look at it, it is like so amazing to me. Mm-hmm. It, it It is like when somebody lay hands on you, that, mm-hmm. that kind of feeling when I look at, look at what I produce, because I know that it was not about me. It was about surrendering to something that God birthed me with and allowing him to take control of it. Amen. And so, so I, live, I live my life through art, and it's a, it's a wonderful, wonderful thing. Thing and to wake up with all these colors and movement and and then and then then I begin to look at them and and see what I see in them. But when I do a show, a person sees something totally different. Amen. You know, and you know they what? <laughs> but that is amazing because what you just said, you just hit on something that I like to talk about because we have to help each other. And as we speak on this. Uh, 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 you, your focal point, and so your focal point is God through the painting. Mm-hmm. That's yeah. the question I want you. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. No, 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 because I don't. You know, like most artists, they sketch and they try to create what they're gonna put on paper. Exactly. I am taking a risk. I start without thinking about nothing. Okay, mm-hmm. I trust him. I yeah. trust him. And so it, when I trust, and even sometimes I get stuck, and I'll be like, oh, I'll throw this away. And, and early on, I, I, the Spirit just said, never throw anything away. It's just not time for it. Release it, let it go, go back to it. Start on something else. So sometimes I, my studio looks like a factory. <laughs> but when it's, when it's all, like, when it's all communed together, like when I, set up my presentations and when I do a show it's 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 so powerful amen and and, and it's so healing and it 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 attracts people's attention and yeah, my past is so and, and, and while you're attracting people uh, tell them what you do for the hospital on your presentations well, I, I, I take, you know, I, I go back to where uh, I, I got my, you know, where my recovery started was at Mount Sinai Hospital in New York. Right. And they had a spinal cord uh, uh, division, whereas when I was, I was at one hospital, and when I woke up from surgery, I could not move my legs. And so the second day, um, they came in, they asked me to move my toe and I was able to move the toe. And so they put me in an ambulance and they took me over to Mount Sinai 
a special unit for spinal cord injury patients. And I stayed there for maybe five months, six months. And, um, and so those, those patients, are, I, I try to go back there and I try to do a, a healing through art class because I figure they, they, they were probably emotionally in the same place I was, devastated that this thing has happened to them and, and, uh, and afraid and, and, and thinking about it 24 seven can't take their mind off of the thing that they're going through. And so, uh, I knew that God had, um, he, he, he had a ministry for me mm. and I, and, and I knew it had to do with this new thing that he has given me because it, it was helping to transform me into a better man. Yeah. And so what what I would so I started teaching art to uh, pain classes in the hospital, and you're talking about powerful. Mm. You know, I, I take the patients through uh, their with, with their feeling, and I'm asking them uh, what co- what color coordinates to your feeling that you're feeling right now. Right. Mm-hmm. So if you're if you're feeling very sad, it may be a dark brown or gray, you know, a color. And I ask them to make movement on the paper. And, and I say, you know, and I just guide them through this whole thing of helping them to understand that they're only in this place for a moment and it's not forever. Mm-hmm. And so and after after we complete the whole uh you know, going through the whole thing and they end up putting this on canvas, the most gratifying, uh, um, I think, the, uh, for me is when they explain to me what they see in that art. Mm. My God, I, it, it blows me away. And, and I, I mean, I'd be in tears because they are, they were actually it allows you to open yourself up when most people wouldn't because now you got to describe to me why you chose those colors and what does this image mean to you and, mm-hmm. and 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 people come from different. I remember one one this this it was this older gentleman and he had had a, a stroke and um, and he had did his painting and I and I and I and ex- I told him to explain to me his process and his colors and why he chose that color and what does this mean to him? And when he said to me that because of the stroke, he felt helpless. He felt uh, that how could he be a man for his family? Right. When he cannot move, how can he provide for his children? And you just get these, all these different stories, but it's a healing. It's a, and so they end up taking that painting back to their rooms and they hang it. So put it somewhere in their hospital room and they focus on that. Mm. You know, when they start to go negative, they focus at that, you know, because it's a happy part to it, you know, at, at the end. Right. Mm-hmm. And the happy partner, the happy part of it is, I myself used to be where you are. So if God can do it for me, he can certainly do it for you. Exactly. You know, wow, it's, that's, a t- that's really powerful testimony because uh, you give them a focal point and then you ask them why. And mm-hmm. so that's, that's, that's an awesome ministry. Uh, what church um, have you been going to? Well, I, you know what? I, 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 I don't go to church. Not, I don't, church is in me, <laughs> okay? I, you know all my time, that? I'm ex- well, I'm listen, all my come. time, all my time is in my work, 24-7. I'm, I'm, it, it, that, is, that, that is my church. That is my ministry. And when, hey, they talk about, when, they, when they talk about, will you pay your tithes? Well, my tithe is what I do for the world. My tithe is, if I... If I say one person or lead one person to Christ or change one negative attitude to a positive or give somebody some hope that they can be a better or they give, you know, so that is what I'm giving back. It's easy to go to the church and drop a dollar in a basket, but it's really challenging when you're trying to move around and try to make a difference in somebody's life. Man, I'm so, wow. Now, let me help you on, I mean, I'm going to help some people what, what you just said. A lot of people are just traditionally going places. Uh, we won't even call the name of what they're doing. But I'm so glad that it says like-minded people follow uh, one another. 
Uh, I try to go to church sometimes, but my church is my church online around the world. And so with you being an independent artist, uh, a brand new Casuelo or Basuelo or whatever name you want to give it, but you're the new Cibello. No, hold, hold up a minute. You got to say this name right. It's Cibello. Cibello. And it, the reason why I'm asking you to say it right, because what it means, it means a gift from God. Yes. That's what it means. So my artwork is a gift from God. Cibello. So that's my artist's name is Cibello. Cibello. And the women say Cibala and the men say Cibello. Well, that is awesome. Um, I'm, I'm glad you corrected that, and that means gift from God. <laughs> gift from God, yes. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So you know what, what? So that's all. Awesome. And the reason why I do that, Mark, because then people, when I tell them what it means, then they get more attention when they get ready to say it. Or oh, I remember he said it's gift from God to Balo. His, it, so they can relate to something that to, to jog the memory. You know. Exactly. No, that's a good, that's good, you know, because I, I call, I have an accent, and I and I, I like to know how to say it correct as well. So that's fine, mm-hmm. um, uh, around the word Cibello. Cibello, mm-hmm. I'm a gift from God. Well, that I like sounds that sounds moving, Cibello. What's that Cibello? Uh-huh. <laughs> it sounds refreshing. You know what, you know what, it's so funny. <laughs> They, I, the king of Swaziland, when I lived in South Africa, I had a renaming ceremony, and that's the name he chose for me. And years passed, and I never used it until I went in, until I was going through my recovery and my injury. Uh, and then I began to use it, right? Mm-hmm. Because it wasn't meant for me to use it in the world. Can you imagine us at the club saying, Sabelo, what's up? Yeah. This is Sabelo, right? Right. And then become an artist and be using the same name. Right? right. So the name I use is a God chosen name. And it was yes. a time for me to use at the time it was given to me. Exactly. God mm-hmm. chosen. Well, you are very talented, uh, uh, a talented young man, because I've seen you put together shows. And when you were in South Africa for Proline, I, you had me making jingles. Uh, 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 you always had a fantastic show. So mm-hmm. even in the hair community, the hair world, uh, you were selling Proline for Proline. And then just tell us, um, we now we know that we must complete our whole thing of our, of our substance. Uh, we have to be changed through what we do. Uh, uh, you just reminded all of us that we know that we are we are the church, and mm. that is a crucial point. What you said right there, and then your tithes, uh, uh, you're giving in time and talent and teaching and restoring and moving people back to their present place of grace in their mind to not be so stressed out. But I know mm-hmm. for a fact you had a habitual fit when you thought you wasn't going to work together, work and walk and do and switch and do what you do. What can you tell somebody else that might not be paralyzed but then still have the issues of, of just not being able to focus? Give us a focus, yeah. focus. Right, but the, the the word paralyzed can be applied to many things. Exactly. You can be paralyzed in your thinking. You can be paralyzed in your in your thoughts. You can be paralyzed in and and uh and anything that that is a challenge for you yes. can be something that paralyzes you. Paralyzing you means you can't move or no movement. No and more. so you can be, you can be, you can be uh, depressed. You can be going through depression, right? Mm-hmm. And you can be that but depression can have you paralyzed. Exactly. Alcohol can have you paralyzed. Yes. Drugs can have you paralyzed. You yes. understand what I'm saying? Yes. So yes. It, it stops you from moving and moving means so much, right? Exactly. You moving onwards, moving forward, moving around. It can be applied to so many aspects of our lives, especially exactly. when we're trying to live a life that's pleasing to Christ. 
And we're not perfect. So, you know, a part of that is failing and falling up and starting all over again. And that could be physical, that could be mental or spiritual. Amen. And you know what? That is, I mean, I'm just messing with you because I can. But I am very proud of you because uh, some things that we, that like you say, we was bad and we don't want to, we're going to keep the door closed on that. And it's all good because I do, I do not focus on my um, past a lot. But the stories that we have is so liberating to hear you because I was always talking about God, but I didn't know him. I only was talking out of uh, habitual uh, um, going to church every Get your way. No Get your way is Just why you would do it. Exactly. Jesus said, give me $20. <laughs> Jesus said, you need to give me a ride to the club. <laughs> Amen. 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 And I can, you know what? I can laugh on those things. <laughs> I just, I just, I told the word yesterday. God knew who we were going to be before mm. we even hit the world. In our mm. mother's womb, He knew uh, that uh, greatness was going to especially come out of you because mm. you was always moving towards that uh, entity of being famous. <laughs> now you're famous in the Lord, and then you're mm-hmm. famous because you have surrendered. And that, I think that, what can you say about surrendering? How hard was that for you to surrender to the will? Surrendering, surrendering is a, still an ongoing process. Mm-hmm. Right? Because it depends on what we're getting surrendered from, right? Yeah. But to surrender means to just, like, to, you know, you, you know, sometimes like when I'm playing shows, I want, because I'm, I'm such a perfectionist, I want everything that, and because I'm creative, God has given me the foresight to see things before they actually come to life. Amen. And that's why most, most of my, even as a young man, when I was, you know, doing them fashion shows and could come up with this creative stuff, I, I would have to have envisioned those things and see them first, then make them come to life. Amen. And when I was an interior decorator, I had to see the place and I could be telling the client what I'm going to do and how it's going to look and the textures and the, what I'm going to try to create. But they can't see it. Only I see it. And so you have to surrender to your thoughts sometimes. Yes. And to surrender to your thoughts means just slow down and get out, get out of God's way. You know, we're always in Amen. his way. Just, you just, just move yeah. to the side. And move to the side means that you ain't taking for a worry. <laughs> you know, you know that if, if, if that God wants the best for you. Amen. God doesn't want us to suffer. Satan does. Amen. And so it's a, when they say it's, it's a warfare, that's what they mean. When you yeah. walk in. How much is you know? You be like, well, Lord, well, why are you taking me through this? Why well, wanted to, you know, why, why, when is it going to end for me? Right. Why? Me? And then God says, why not you? Right. Right. Oh, yeah. Why not you? And yeah. I think I think people who come to this come to this world with gifts and talent, you know, those those are the gifts and talent that comes from God, and so mm-hmm. He are, and he, He's in charge of those gifts. And so you can be number one in a whole bunch of industries, yes. but to be number one in an industry and doing well and famous for something that you love, yes, it's hard. It's hard. Wow. It's hard so I hear that compassion, man. Mm-hmm. And you know, compassion is the the most of 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 your mind thought process that God loves the most. Meaning mm-hmm. when you always thinking of him while you moving good or bad, he understands so much. And then to hear you say it, mm-hmm. amen. That's all I'm going to say. I won't get into it like that because I'm saying amen that he specialized in you. He already mm-hmm. had the gift in you. It was your focus that brought it to the fruition. And then mm-hmm. what, how does it feel to be on your own with the Lord? 
Meaning you're not with you, you, you know, I was that kind of I I did. You know, because I, I you know, let's just keep it real and I yeah. thank God for it, you know, 'cause I'm 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 sixty and I look thirty. And right. so I've always been an attractive man, right? And so right. I always thought that I could get away and get in and get out and do what I need to do. And what happened for me is I start I start allowing myself not to see the outer side of me. Mm. And it was, I, w- I wanted to see the inside. You know, what are you, what are you, what are you made of? Not the shell that covers what you made out of. What yeah. are you made out inside? Where's oh. your compassion? Where's your, what is, where's your, uh, you know, because that's truly what's missing in this world right now. If people don't have no compassion whatsoever when they could go up into a synagogue or a church and just shoot up people they don't know. Mm. Passion doesn't allow you to go there. Mm-mm. And so this world right now is just, it's a lack of passion. You know what I mean? Exactly. Passion for our sisters and our brothers and, and, and not to stand in a place of, uh, of, of criticizing or judging people, right? right? Because that's God's job. You know yes. what I mean? Yes. He, he didn't get you off of the to be right judging me. Yeah. yeah, so I'm like, if everybody stay in their lane, right, and right. everybody just love people where they at, my compassion to love someone is different from your compassion to love. Some yeah. people love hard, some people love easy. You understand? Yeah. So I, I, but God's love is that unconditional love yeah. means nothing's attached to it. There's yeah. no compliment attached to it, ain't a few dollars attached to it, it's yeah. not uh, out of some insecurity or relationship, unconditional means God loves you and there's nothing attached to that love. Nothing. Mm. You know, when people in relationships, you ask yourself, well, why you love her or why you love him? And you start saying, oh, because they they can cook or because or they know how to provide and how to take it. But that's not unconditional. Unconditional means that there's nothing attached to it. It loves is because it feels good to love. Yes. I really, really am enjoying that because um, that was what I talked about yesterday as how God meets us where we are. And then when he meets us where we are, we we our love got to show if you with the Lord, because that's what he does. He, he he sustains all of us, no matter who you are or what you're doing. Once you become a a, a king's kid, then you reign in with him. So he got your back. So when your enemies come, you just be saying, "Okay, I love you," but that's when the long handled spoon comes out because. You don't got time for that because it unfocuses. And so I'm Mm. really loving what you're saying. You are strong now for your family, your friends. Uh, uh, Sabello is a (laughs) gift from God. We love it. And it ties Mm. you around the world, and I'm excited about your new uh, uh, the show that's coming to uh, Compton, California. Now, did you go? Yeah, to- you know it. I, 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 yeah, I, I, I'm, you know, straight out of Compton, right? <laughs> but straight, straight out of Compton, but with an international flair, because I have lived all over the world. Exactly. And I, I, I'm finally going home Thank and, you, and, and, and doing something. Um, so I haven't did anything since high school back home. And so I'm very excited about this event. And it's, it's women of the universe. And I'm just recognizing women that I have seen for myself that have uh, grown creatively and in their careers, but most of all, spiritually. And yeah. so I'm honoring these women. And they are all different uh different attitudes and different energies and different they bring so much uh diversity to this planet and if we recognize that that God is is leaning on the power of the woman because mm-hmm. that's why he gave her something that he could not give man which is to, to give birth to a child and yes. see that that's a sacred gift that comes from God and men need to respect that aspect of womanhood, right? Because we'll never know what it's like 
to carry some a child and give birth to it. Yeah. So I'm wanting to uh, to celebrate these women that I hand chosen for my own reasons. And you know, we know you are one of those women because I've watched you grow. I've watched you uh, become more pleasing to God's eye, yeah. and I've watched your life change. Right. Yes, yes, and people God. think when you change, you just boom, you're a totally different person. No, just no. certain things about you change. Right. If you were, if, right. you were, if you already had a sense of humor and could make people laugh, that don't go away when you start having a relationship with Christ. No. It's just that you can find stuff and ain't got the courage to make somebody laugh. Amen. He gives you an, an, an added on flavor is what I say. Yeah, that's that's what that is. And that mm-hmm. is keeping it one hundred right there. So mm-hmm. the other ladies, um, um, I can't wait to meet them and uh you got this extravagant now I wanna just get a clarity. You mean you graduated from Compton as well? Yeah, but you know what you was you know he was you was on the you know, I was going around the world, and the first time people, the first, and, the, and, it, and it's funny, but it's so true. The first time I, they look at me, and I say I'm from Compton, it's just this whole, oh, do they really be shooting people? Do they really just, I mean, it's just. Exactly. And, 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 and I'm saying, but you need to stand back and see all the talent that came out of that you, that is what you really need re- to recognize, and, and that's you know what, what I'm doing. Now, 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 you done made me more excited because I came out, I must have came out after you because I won't be 60 until February. So I came yeah. out of Compton, and I'm going to just give you my little story a little bit. I was in, my mother, you know, they call themselves moving upscale, moving to Harbor <laughs> City, around the corner from Palace Verdes. But I was working right there on Long Beach Boulevard driving my Cadillac. Uh, but I was going to, I, I checked out of Norbon to go to Compton, and everyone called me crazy because, you know, it was a bad high school fighting with Centennial all the time because we was mm-hmm. the babes don't love nobody. And the Crips and the Blood. Exactly. And and, but, and, and and I didn't know you went to, and, and I graduated with, uh, uh, I wasn't scared because I only had three classes anyway because, I, you know, in those other uh, areas, they make sure you have all your credits uh, by the time you get to the 12th grade. So I had all my credits. And then I came to Compton, and they thought that was so crazy. But I just wanted to come and be with my element and look at us now, meaning it is some powerful talent coming up out of that Compton area. But so what I, what I tell white folks who uh, the only thing they know is something that maybe this taste was not nice from Compton, I remind them that Compton for me was basic training for the world. Exactly. Basic training for the world. You understand? Mm. It taught me how to fight. It taught me how to be secure. It it taught me how to do a lot of things. And then so those things became a part of who I am today. Mm. And so that's why I'm really happy. And, you know, this is my class reunion time. So hopefully a lot of my alumni you know, people I haven't seen since high school planning to come. And I, I'm just, I mean, I, this is probably the best work I've ever done because I love the reason why I'm doing it, right? Wow, and I'm so just when, when amazed people, that you graduated from Compton. I know. Everybody thought I went to Beverly Hills High and all. <laughs> this. It was just an illusion that was based on their own confusion. Exactly. Uh, I'm straight out of Compton, and you know when when I, I was back back in the day when people used to say, "Well, you, I, you don't want the Compton and me to come out. You really don't. Exactly. You want that, you because want that we, we were kids time. that we at that school. Uh, I've met people that worked for Johnny Cochran, Jan Bowers out of there. Uh, uh, went on to be a success with Johnny Cochran Law Firm. Yeah, well, all these rappers and Snoop Dogg and all these, a lot of talented, Serena, 
all a lot of these people and, came yeah. from Thompson. Yeah, and Serena was right there where Pam Belson's son, uh, Pam. Oh, Belson's I remember brother, Pam Belson too. Yeah, Julius Belson trained those girls at mm-hmm. Compton uh, uh, College. Mm-hmm. Amen. So I'm just saying, so this is going to be more powerful uh, as I promote because I'm going to be in mass promotion for this. And uh, we'll be doing a Facebook Live to bring this to the forefront. And um, with you coming on Facebook Live, and this is about to play on the radio station, uh, while this goes around the world, a lot of people already told you congratulations. They wish they could be here from South Carolina, North Carolina. So what we're saying is uh, we got Bishop uh, Pastor Daryl Barnes that has a church in Los Angeles. And then I'm going to reach out to my community of Compton because I'm affiliate. Uh, they always sending me their songs and stuff. So it won't hurt them to come on out as well. And then I think we should stomp the yard for one day, just roll around Compton, because I have a lot of people that still live on Reeve Street where I was at. Uh, uh, yes, and, 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 and the Delahide Center is very beautiful. I heard. I, you know, when somebody took me that to, oh, wait a minute, this, wait a minute, this is it, it, it's stunning. And it's right there in the center, in the center of, of of everything, my neighborhood and everything. I, I had to drive around just to wrap my head around when I was a kid living here. Mm-hmm. Yeah, so it, this, this, this show means a, I've done a lot of shows. I mean, my whole life has been a show. But, but this, you know this, what? We this, never, we, we never, we never, ever. I never knew it until right now that you're from you was from Compton. We never discussed that because we was too busy in the limelight with that hair and them shows. And you was the first one that uh, prompted me to hit the stage after I became Screen Actors Guild. As a well, but thank you very much. Thank you. So tell everybody I'm the reason for your success. You the reason for God is the reason for my success, but you are the reason. But he used me. He used me. He used uh-huh. you to make sure I go forth in the speaking element because uh, anywhere we went together, we always shut it down. Everybody would be laughing so hard. Yeah, that that that, used, that, that laughter just brings me. It, it, it does still today, and even as as a uh, as a young man, laughter is just you know to be able to laugh. It it just it's just like joy. It's just especially, like pure joy. Yeah, especially when you used to enter the room saying, "I'm looking good. I'm feeling good. <laughs> I'm smelling good." <laughs> Uh-huh. I used to say, now, what? where did he get that from? Meaning it was always some type of slang that we would have to relate. Uh, do you <laughs> think um, Gail and all of them going to show up? Gail, Vicky, are they going to try to make yeah, it through? I, yeah, we're going to have to, you know, that's why I just, we got to really promote this, right? right. I, I just really, you know, this, this, really, this really is a, a time to, kind of, re, you know, unite in a way that is spiritual because, you know, since high school, people have gone through, have, lives have changed, right? Yeah. You used to be, even a, a year ago, you're not the same person you used to be a year no, ago. So I'm, I'm, not, yeah. about, I'm just excited about, you know, I'm just excited about the whole thing. And I, and I just, I, really I walk am on fire it. about this, though. You from my school, too, but you graduated before me. But what I'm saying is this will be an awesome opportunity to have, like, alumni with just all the people that you have exactly. come their lives so, in it, L.A., it, it, Las it. Vegas, are all up in Compton, and Long Beach got to come out, uh, 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 Inglewood got to come out. I mean, I was everywhere in L.A., whatever nook and cranny, whatever set it was, it is no reason why it, that place should be packed uh, to come out and reminisce on what the Lord has done for a lot of us. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Especially yeah, so, me and you. I, I, he, he, it's it's going to be packed. It's going to be life changing. It's going to be beautiful. It's going to be 
it's just going to be inspirational. I think people are going to come and when they engage their art and see the glass and uh, the different types of textures that I was able to create and study it, and then to walk away knowing how how it's processed, how it came to fruition, how it you know how it how it helped me uh, to be a better person. I just I, I, I'm excited. I just every time I, I think about it, I'm excited just for excited. you. Congratulations! This will be my a second show attending. You did the other one in Baldwin Hills, and I was there, and that was fab. Boo! That was too fabulous. Uh, yeah, the uh, Zen Garden show, the Art yeah, in the Garden. Exactly. Yeah. That was too yeah. fabulous. And yeah. so, um, did you get in touch with what is it, Avion? What is it, Faison? What's his name? Uh, uh, Kevon. Yeah, Kevon. Yeah, he, uh, yeah, he's he's coming. I'm gonna talk to him probably next week. Yeah. Uh, well, we, I wouldn't mind down. getting uh, um, uh, when um, I wouldn't mind getting Kevon as well. I'll be doing a few interviews, meaning I'm always working when I'm out there. Uh, uh -huh. Captivate your your uh, your empire now, all the way from the NYC, and so we're gonna wrap it up by you. Um, just giving out the, the address, the date, and then say a prayer over us, and this will hit the WGI radio ride. And then we uh, Facebook. We what's a good day for Facebook this week? Oh, well, hey, I, I'm, whenever you, whenever the spirit, whenever the spirit hits you. So next you week, know, let's when take it, it when Tuesday. It hits you, it don't hit me. So you know, you just let me know when. So it'll be Tuesday next week. And, um, you know, I'm very uh, intentive to when I am I'm also promoting you, and now I have more fire with it, knowing you came out of Compton as well. And this is, like, going to be alumni, so I'm going to make sure that that's the way I promote yeah, that's it. That's why I said, you know, promote it on your Facebook page. You know, you could take you could take a piece of art and show them so they could see that it's just not a art show. It's really different. It's really oh, I got different. the natural. I got my natural hanging up in here, uh, the one you did with the afro and the cotton uh -huh. and like uh, Elvis Presley. <laughs> uh -huh. That is a beautiful picture. I'm cherishing it uh, uh, the moment. So um, mm -hmm. so tell us, um, it's going to be at the Dollar Hyde Center. What is the, the Dollar Hyde Center. Yes, what is the um, address? Well, you would have to ask me that. It's on the flyer, but all they have to do is Google Dollar, Dollar Hyde Center and they can get the address. Okay, you and that's going to be in the June the 30th? The huh? June the 30th? Yes, June the 30th. Then at 4, eight, from 4, 4 to 8. PM, 4 to 8. Mm -hmm. And then also, I would like you to give them that other date that you're going to do prior to the 30th. No, it's after the 30th. I'll make an announcement that day, but that's July Oh, 14th. July. Okay, I'll cool. I'll be in San Bernardino. Yes. Okay, San Bernardino. I'm so glad that uh, we're really focused here because I was going to advise you that, and you, God is so great. Like you said, mm -hmm. this is going to be your best work, I believe, ever. Um, <clears throat> um, also, we're going to let you pray us out because I do all the praying and you rushing me. I'm This is my only off day. and. Uh, I have to get this in, though, because I appreciate your talent, uh, Mr. Gant. Uh, uh, mm -hmm. uh, you've been talented for a long time. Mm -hmm. And then I'm so excited because you can now I know you came from Compton High, and then mm -hmm. the city of tar babes don't love nobody mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> but the Lord now. And then mm -hmm. you've been around the world, I, 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 and they gave you that uh, Sabello to mm -hmm. be called gift from God. And I absolutely agree with the penetration of that name because you are a gift from God to teach us, a teaching, especially me, taught me how to hit that stage, hit that runway, and hit that voice and get that mm -hmm. talking on because I'm looking good, feeling good. <laughs> <laughs> Congratulations, man. Congratulations from the Most High, and God is blessing you right now. I'm so glad we got some rejoicing stories to go yeah. the rest of the way in our lives. So you can go on and pray us out and um, 
Thank you so much for being on the official WGII radio ride worldwide, baby. Heavenly Father, I come right now in the midst of your love, in the midst of your healing, in the midst of your goodness and your graciousness and your gratitude that you've given us each and every day, Father. Father, if anybody out there is going through some type of struggle or yes. going through some kind of challenge, we want to reach out to those people. We want to ask those people to go into their closet, which means center yourself. Amen. And only focus on Jesus and his word. Amen. Try to envision him dying on the cross for your sins and recognize the pain that he went through for us to be free from sin. Yes, God. Just, just, just feel that. Feel that blood running from your, your arms to, to the ground. Feel that that being nailed to a cross, hmm. which must have to be the most horrendous pain. Yes, He's God. made that sacrifice for us. And so, Father God, we just ask that you continue to bless us and to, to watch over us and just to let us spread the word of your healing and your love and your transformation yes, and God. your forgiveness, Father. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Thank you. This Sometimes our blessings are held up because we haven't forgiven somebody who we thought wronged us. Yes, God. In this moment, unblock. Mm. Let your free way be clear. Unblock. Let it be filled with love. Let it be filled with peace and joy. And then take that ride on the freeway. Mm. Take their ride on the freeway of God's love and his understanding and his power, mm. his wonderful working power. Yes, God. That we ask you that, Father, because you said when two or more gathered, and I'm sure we working with more than two or more. Amen. That prayer, Father. We're going to see results. We're going to hear about results. Yes, God. We're going to hear about people being healed. We're going to hear about people being transformed. We yes. hear about people who have forgiven people. And we're just thanking you right now in this moment. Right now. We say hallelujah. Thank hallelujah. you Glory. for bringing us this far. Amen. In Jesus Christ's name I pray. Amen. 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 I'm so proud of you, and um, I will be uh, just praying. Uh, we already over here from the WGI. We just we already sent Juba to have a fantastical time. What a reunion! Yeah, yeah, Amen. it's gonna be beautiful. Yeah. A Amen. So you, oh, take, you have a blessed and peaceful and prosperous day uh, in Jesus. Amen. Amen. Amen around the world, Las Vegas, Los Angeles, Detroit, Chicago, Ohio, Canada, and NYC on the official ride. Sabello on the ride. Get from God, guys. Get ready for June the 30th, 2019 at the Dollar Hyde Center with James Elcock Gant. Blessings, man.
Oh yeah. He's given us all a chance around the world. We want to thank all the indie artists. That's Shea Sam's ATL on the ride, baby. We want to give it up and give a second chance and give a blessing to all the indie artists that uh, supported Cibello on the official worldwide uh, ride right here on the podcast of Spreaker. Uh, I want to say to all of you, this is a happy, happy Tuesday. We just popped in to say to God, get the glory and congratulations to James Elcock Gant, Cibello, the alumni of the CPT at the Dollar Hyde Center this 30th. We will be reposting this one over and over and over again for you guys to just hear him speak around the world. We want to thank Philippine all the way from Cape Town, South Africa. Thank our new drops right there on the Martha Show from Arthur Roland, as well as Soul Spiration and the Praise Factor Awards. We want to give it up for Bishop Fred Jones Jr. on the Fisher Ride for Church Girl Rocks. Those are the three events that I got to complete and finish. You guys also get ready for me this Mother's Day. I will be bringing it live to you around the world on every one of my social medias. The Mother's Day Word. Have a peaceful or prosperous a day, night, or evening around the world. Make sure you hit the new website, MissMartha.tv. Blessings around the world, Las Vegas, Los Angeles, NYC, CPT on the official Cibello Ride around the world. Have a blessed and prosperous and peaceful day, night, or evening. Hey, this is your boy Art Roland, Grammy Award winning gospel artist from Atlanta, Georgia. And you're on the ride with my sister, my girl, the Martha Ward Show. Don't forget to check us out on XOD Network, the PG Network, and Soulspiration. Hello, I'm Fred Jones Jr., lead guitarist for the Jones Family Singers. I hope you're enjoying the best and great gospel music right here with your number one radio angel. God bless you.